Put that away. Well done. Not as good as last time, but good. Colleen, and don't forget, those of you who haven't completed your tally chart... No, old moron. Quiet! Anna Madden, out. But it wasn't me. Out! Sharon took my exercise book. Liar! Out now or you're on detention. But it was Sharon. Out! No. Right, I'll see you after school. And wait where I can see you. Yay. Nigel, did I tell you to stand up? No, so get back in your seat. Now, we all know how many degrees there are in a circle, don't we, Nigel? <laughs> yes! The next person to laugh joins her. Right, we're starting something new today. Another way of showing basic statistics. Pie charts. Now, a pie chart is just another way of showing information. Take, for example, the information we took last week. Now, what was the most common number of letters in all your surnames? Seven. About half of you have seven letters in your surname. So, what portion of the pie did those people have? Half. 180 degrees slice of the pie. Now I'm going to make up a different pie chart with a different set of information. How we spend our day. I'll do an example for you based on my average weekday. Then I want you to make up a pie chart based on your average Saturday. First, I write down my information. What are the things I do? Getting dressed and under. What? Don't feel dizzy. She's lying. I want to go home. She's lying, miss. I'm not. Well, you don't sound ill to me. If you disturb us again, you're going straight to Mr. Murphy. Understand? But it's my birthday. Well, you should have thought of that before. Quiet! And you can wipe that look off your face now, David. Where were we? Sleeping. Right. I spent one hour dressing and undressing. About two and a half hours eating. About eight hours at school. Out. She passed out. Is she gonna die? Christian, go get night transport. She needs Thanks. Hi. How are you feeling? Terrible, Mum. That bad, eh? Worse. Oh, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. I wish they hadn't called you. I could have gone home by myself. Oh, don't worry. Things were so busy at work that it was really nice to get out of there. Listen, this'll cheer you up. It came after you left. Guess what's wrong? Dad. Yeah. Happy 11th birthday, lots of love, Dad. Well, that's not all. There's something very special fixed up for you. What? No, it's a surprise. Wedding lessons? <laughs> yep. Some surprise. Where's Mogadishu? I think it's a port on the east coast of Africa. Well, they spelt my name wrong, did they? Yeah. Oh, it's just a mistake. Maybe I can send a reply. That's a nice idea. Oh! <laughs> I wish Dad was here. So do I. Where's he coming back? 
It was meant to be after school today. Meant to be? Hmm. Let's see what Dr. Nichols says first. Do we have to? I'm sure if I just lay down in front of the telly, I'll be okay. Doctor first, no arguing, okay? Stop it! Stop! Stop it! I was pretending. Pretending? Shandon stole my book. Then I push off a chair and Miss Ramstone put me on detention. I can't be on detention on my birthday, can I? So I faked it. You faked it? So you're not ill? <sighs> Where are we going? Back. I can't go back. Oh, you're going back. I look stupid. You do already. Stupid cow. Look, just because it's your birthday, don't think you can talk to me like that. You should be pleased there's nothing wrong with me. You're telling too many lies, Anna, and it is going to stop. What about my riding lesson? Oh, don't ask. What about my riding lesson? We'll see. What does that mean? It means we'll see. I was wondering where you got to. Shh. Got the afternoon off. <laughs> 